Dave and Eli bought some DVDs and paid $96 altogether. Eli bought 10 more DVDs than Dave and paid $20 more than him. How many DVDs did Dave buy? Now, when we look at this statement, Eli bought 10 more DVDs than Dave. Dave comes after more than, so Dave is our reference. So first, let's draw a model for Dave. So we draw a model for Dave, and then we again draw a model for Eli. Eli has the same amount as Dave, and in addition, she has 10 more DVDs. So I've represented the 10 DVDs as smaller units here, and altogether, they paid $96. Now, it is also given that for Eli had paid $20 more than Dave because she's buying these extra 10 DVDs. So these 10 DVDs costs $20. So from this, we can refer that 10 DVDs is equal to $20. So one DVD is equal to 20 divided by 2, which is $2. We've got the cost of one DVD. Now in this diagram, if we remove this portion, the extra what uh, Eli has, the 10 DVDs, then the total cost would become 96 minus 20. So that will be the total cost and that will be equal to these two equal sized units because we have removed this, the two equal sized units, the two units here, that is equal to 96 minus 20, which is $76. Now, since we know these two units are equal to 76 and they are of equal sizes, one unit is equal to 76 divided by 2, which is $38 now. Now, that shows us that Eli here spent $38 in addition to $20, and Dave spent $38. We know that Dave spent $38, and the cost of one DVD is $2. To find the number of DVDs that Dave bought, all we have to do is number of DVDs with Dave is equal to 38 divided by the cost of one DVD, which is two, and that is equal to 19. So Dave bought 19 DVDs. I hope that's clear. If you have questions, please leave your comments in the comment section. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.